I'll serve up powerful rallies in my time with Mario Power Tennis. This classic tennis game is a lot more difficult than you may think. So enjoy my struggles and have a great day. So now I'm gonna go into the tournament mode and there's a whole bunch of unlockables with all of this and characters and whatnot. So they involve doing singles and doubles. I don't know if I'm gonna do singles and doubles. I might rotate between the two depending on the tournament or how I'm feeling or what to do. I forget who I've used. So I'm gonna go with Bowser Jr. as a single right now. Um, with a world open mushroom cup. Okay, so there's a mushroom cup here. I'm assuming it's on normal difficulty. And okay, so it's one, two, three matches per tournament here. All right. So we'll see how uh, how intense this gets in uh, Mario Power Tennis here on the Nintendo Wii. My name is Brian Saviano Bricks O'Brien. Now these ones are probably gonna go fairly quick here and that's a fault. That's a super big fault, okay. So clearly not the uh, the speedy user here. And a lot of these uh, beginning matches here are probably gonna be fairly boring because it takes so little to actually beat the enemy or the other player rather. So it's probably, yeah, like they are super dumb to start, but then as they get on, uh, they will be a lot more uh, intelligente, intelligent with what they do. So uh, basically this whole series is gonna be either me doing really well or really bad and me reminiscing on my childhood, which is always fun, I'm sure, for a lot of you who wanna know what was little Brian like, I guess. Uh, match point, you haven't gotten a single point at all, Daisy. It shows your low level of skill and there you go. So you can see the difference in the moves that Bowser Jr. can do because he can like swerve the uh, the ball a little bit more one way or the other so it can be a little bit trickier he can be a little trickier with his movements so uh, say I'm not gonna save the tournament for now shows you who wins and loses uh, no way for you to actually see the matches not like Smash Bros so there it is for you there but um, I'm trying to think of like what I did in my childhood so like I, I was asked a very interesting question uh, yesterday? Yesterday. It's like, Brian, what, what did you do other than video games? Like, what, what, what toys did you play with other than video games and Lego? Because obviously, I'm a big Lego fanatic, as you may be able to tell by this giant Star Destroyer behind me and all sorts of stuff. Um, big into that. And obviously, I had... So, I grew up in a very weird time period between... Because, like, okay, every... Nice. Every single person kind of identifies with a console generation. Like, what did you grow up with as a kid? You know, what was what was the main thing? And for me, it was a combination of three things. And I, I firmly believe, not to say that I have it better than all of you, in a way, but I firmly believe that I grew up during the perfect era of video gaming, in a way. Okay, when it comes to Nintendo games especially. So, all of the things from the NES and SNES era were uh, pretty, not samey at all, but just not what I connected with. So, when I, when I was first like a kid, when I was like four, when I had like a conscious train of thought sort of a deal, uh, I grew up with the Nintendo 64. And then, after that, I eventually went on to the GameCube when I was seven. And then eventually, that turned into the Nintendo Wii. So in a way, I grew up, uh, over the course of my childhood being a teen and going into being a teenager, I grew up with three different Nintendo consoles. So it wasn't just one console that really defined, you know, my video gaming experience, it was three. So, like here, you know, I played all the, like, the Smash Brothers games. Well, not uh, Smash 64. I wasn't, I actually didn't have that one. But, like, I played all the other Smash Brothers games. I played uh, Mario, I had, like, Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and all that. So, I had all these different experiences to draw off of. So, like, 
I'm trying to think of like what else I played with when I was a kid and I can't really think of a whole lot else because after a certain point I realized like all right I really like this particular thing and this particular thing and I never really strayed from that because at a certain point I realized like all right a lot of these toys that I have around me right now I don't really care for because they don't last like physically last and they don't hold my attention nearly as much you know so like I would play with all sorts of toys like I'm not even talking like mega blocks over Lego I'm just talking like you know Tonka trucks and other things like just like other types of toys and I remember there always being like a a big bin of them and it, it just wasn't necessarily what I was looking for eventually and my my taste kind of changed and I realized like hey I don't really stick with this stuff all too often so I'm gonna focus my time championship point oh boy um, it's gonna be as easy as that there we go um, so obviously that took six minutes so I'm probably gonna do the doubles of the mushroom cup at least if it's gonna be the same level of difficulty hey mecha Bowser mayhem this one is really cool uh, sure I will save the tournament data there cool uh, does it just go back to the main menu with a little intro. Oh, this happens at the end of every uh, match, which is pretty cool. And then it's like Bowser Jr. is like, what? What, what? what happened? Did he take it? There he goes. Somehow floated into the air and bonked him all on the head. Look at that. It's just so cool. A lot of personality with this game in particular. So, not to sound like the old man who's like, back in my day, it was a lot better. But, like, you know, it just. Yeah, it. It's just different. I mean, if they made like a Mario movie, it'd be too Oh. Oh, wait. They're in the Fire Flower tournament? Oh. I guess it's not how that's working. All right. I guess I'm still going until I'm el eliminated. I don't know. But hey, we'll see what happens. Uh, but clearly, I'm still at the upper end, uh, upper hand here. Um, so, like, I played with, like, Pokemon cards only because the cards looked shiny. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh because the cards were shiny and powerful and based on the anime and all that But a lot of other things I just didn't end up liking and then Like I remember getting like this Hamtaro dream house thing which Like Hamtaro Okay, so it was just a random thought like I'm trying to think of anything Based on like a, a, a show or something from my childhood that I played with like I didn't play with Barbies and stuff, but like, Hamtaro is this anime that is all about these adorable little hamsters that go on adventures and have this whole, like, I think functioning society? I think? And they all have different personalities, and they all get along together, and I had, like, the Game Boy Color game, and it was a, a really fun show from what I remember. It wasn't a, a girl show or a boy show. It was just a, I, I, you know, I don't know. I'm not a big anime fan, so I don't know why I connected with that. But I'm like, all right, these hamsters are cute. And I had the whole dream house. <laughs> I had the whole thing. So I guess, uh, oh, you know what this probably is? You have to beat the tournament with every single character. That's probably what that is. Now, am I going to do that? Probably not. So... I guess Bowser Jr.'s who we're sticking with, at least for the singles here, and doubles will probably change this dynamic heavily. So, probably do doubles with another character here, but Tricky is clearly where I uh, am finding my sweet spot here, so that's good. There we go. And I still don't even know all the controls here. I'm just kind of winging it. And this is not meant to be difficult. It's just whatever. So, I had that, and I had the, the whole dream house with a whole bunch of hamsters, um, but there wasn't really much else. Let me take a let me take a second to try to like visualize like my my kid room. Oh, a whole aspect I forgot. So, my grandmother very very heavily into so she she worked at McDonald's for years, which explains why I have the neck beard now, right? All the all the flubber. It's not cuz I don't go to the gym, it's cuz I've been eating McDonald's since I was like 4 years old. But she worked Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it, I got out. Um she worked at McDonald's for years. And what would happen 
is I would always get whatever new toys that would come out at McDonald's. So whenever, like, the, the big notable promotion was the 101 Dalmatians thing that happened. It was years and years and years ago. Where, when 101 Dalmatians was, like, the killer thing. And it got to the point where, like, way back in, in those days, to make any adults watching sound very old, that was, like, the thing that, like, actually adults wanted too. It wasn't just kids that wanted all of these uh, Dalmatian toys. It was like something they gave away, I think on like the Rosie O'Donnell show was like all 101 Dalmatians in like one big box or container as a thing, as a prize. And it was a high ticket item. Like people really wanted that stuff. So she would always give me all the new McDonald toys. And that's actually... I thought I used my special there. I guess it's A and B. I thought it was just um, A, but I get or just B rather, but it's definitely not. Um, but that is actually that's a, a lot of what I had when I was younger. Was a lot of those toys. So my mother loved it. She was like all this random toys that are made overseas, just chilling in a bin. Because my grandmother would get all of them, and obviously she spoils me. But that was actually how I got really popular in elementary school. So. <laughs> So what I would do, I don't know if this happens nowadays, I don't believe it does, but what happens is you would have, let's say, uh, Valentine's Day. Great example, Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day comes around, you, know, you do a little work for the day in elementary school, and then everybody brings something, or ideally everybody brings something. It's a big old potluck, and... You know, you give each other valentines, you just hang out, you have a bunch of soda, maybe ice cream, teacher brings ice cream for an ice cream party, whatever. Um, and what I would do, because Yaya got the hookup, which Yaya is uh, Greek for grandmother, just so you know. There's like Nana and Italian and all that. So my Yaya, Y-I-A, Y-I-A, that's how you spell it. Um, just so you know, just so you can sleep tonight. Um, she would hook me up with all the McDonald toys. Luigi again? Jeez, killing the game, man. Um, she would hook me up with all the McDonald toys. So what I would do, I vividly remember doing this, which I don't know what it, how, how it identifies me as a person, but like, well, I would, I would give out all the toys to everyone, and she would give me a ton, like an absolute ton of these toys. I was gonna say, like, why is he? He's getting so close here. Um, a ton of these toys and when it got to the end of it I have this very vivid memory of like holding up one of the toys and being like alright who wants it and then everyone everyone's like foaming at the mouth for like all these McDonald toys and like I was just teasing everyone else in my class I'm like man this is uh this is great and I you know not that I was a popular kid in school or anything but that was always the uh the thing that, that got people's attention is when I had to bring all the toys and, and all the thing like that. So it was a pretty uh, pretty empowering moment for me, I guess. I don't know. Just uh, just a random random memory there. I don't think they do those um, those like in school things with the whole um, you know everybody brings something because it was always always an issue when somebody had a peanut allergy and it was like oh here we go here we go Rhonda's got a peanut allergy so now we can't have Reese's or anything like that but I mean like you know you got to be accommodating to everyone you know obviously so not gonna bring around the Reese's puffs around her but like I think that I, I believe from what I've heard from from parents and whatnot is that that's just the thing where, like, nobody can now have those party. It's just a, a thing. Like, I, I don't know. So, if by any means of the internet you want to let me know if they actually have those in school anymore, let me know. Uh, I'm not too familiar with it. I, I obviously, I don't, I'm not in elementary school, nor do I have a, a child in elementary school. So, not that I would know either way or a cousin or anything. But uh, that was a whole big thing. And I had a ton of the toys, and they obviously, like... You know, bless my grandmother's heart. She's always like, man, you know, these are going to be really valuable one day. You should hang on to these. And she would say that about everything. 
and they weren't at all, but you never knew. She was also that woman that also had the uh, all the Beanie Babies and whatnot. So that was a whole big thing that I feel like everyone who lived through that wanted to forget, but also most of the... Uh, none, of, none of the younger audience members here know what those are. So basically, the Beanie Babies were a... A line of of like plushies that had beans inside of them in like the appendages. So like there'd be beans in the arms and all sorts of uh, you know places like that. Uh, he's got the advantage here. Okay, I gotta get my act together here. Um, I don't know how to charge up my shot actually, but there we go. Now it's it's deuce. Okay, so wait real quick. So it's in deuce right now. So I need to get two points in a row in order to outsmart this guy. It, can I do that? There we go. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. What if I hold down Z? Does that do anything? That does not do anything. Okay, not at all. Does C do anything? C does kind of nothing. What if I, like, wind up and then go? That might work? I don't know. Um, but that was a whole big craze where, yeah, there, there were beans inside of... Like, it was beans and stuffing. So, it was, like, in the stomach and... Oh, cool. I can play Balloon Panic. Nice. That's another cool one. So I'll save here. And it was a big, hot commodity. Everybody would trade for different ones. There was, like, specific special edition ones for, like, the Olympics and McDonald's. And, like, they had McDonald's be be Beanie Baby things. And they're still around today. Those are the things that have, uh... <laughs> Beanie Babies have resorted to being only the, uh... They're made by the company Thai. And they have, um the giant eyes the giant glossy black eyes and um i always see them in the gas stations <laughs> i always see them in the gas stations but uh yeah that's basically what they are now that is a, not even collectible they're just a thing that uh people buy for their for their kids and whatnot um you know they're 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 cool enough and i had obviously a ton of them when i was a kid uh, can I look up, wait, real quick, can I look up the controls in some capacity? Hold on, can I pause this? How do I, I just change the camera angle? Okay, that's weird. It's, uh, a difference between, like, a, a fixed camera angle, I think, or something. Okay, it's not, it's not A. I forget what it takes, but it's definitely a little bit lower now, a bit more intense. If I do say so myself, I might get eliminated here. I don't know. Yeah, ooh, okay. Ooh, now now it's getting spicy. How do I pause this game? Can I um, pause this at all? No? All right, there we go. Let's get this. I need to change the angle. That's what I'm looking for. That standard angle there. I know, I know. No, oh. How do, yeah, how do I pause this game? Hold on, hold, there we go. How do I play this game? All right. So, left to right, right to left, up... Wait. So, it actually does... Really? Huh. So, four... I thought it was just you press different buttons. So, it involves zero buttons at all. So, I've been doing the same shot every single time. Huh. Okay. So, upper right to lower left. Um, let's see. Lower, lower right to upper left. Lower right to upper left. Left and right. Okay. So I, I think I got it. I think I do. All right. So. Ooh, that hurt. Wow. I just smacked. I can't do this. Yo, I can't, I can't do that. No, 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 no. That's tough. All right. There we. Ooh. Man, I just hit my index finger and thumb on that real good. Real good. All right. Cool. Let's go with this. Nice. Okay. I'm going to not lose this game. I'm going to actually be fine. There we go. So because I was kind of going left to right here, it wasn't really working that well. There we go. And then back down that way. Nice. Okay. That's going to be a tricky one for me. There we go. Nice. Okay. Good. I got it. So that was the whole thing. In the 90s and early 2000s, it was all Beanie Baby Central everything, everywhere. And then that slowly... Uh, went out of style. Uh, nobody really cared anymore. Uh, how do I do this? 
There we go. A and B. That's what it takes. And every single time you get this main shot here. There we go. But the counter is where that one's at. All right, cool. So let's go with this. And then up top. Nice. It just so happens that it's working out with the uh, positioning right there. There we go. Uh, ooh, that was close. Nice. Now, now it's getting spicy. That's what's happening here. All right, left to right, this way. Right, and then up top. Okay, down that way, and then this way. Another one of these shots? Really, Diddy Kong? You're killing me here. All right. But as long as I can get that counter, I'm good. And this should be the last of the uh, the sets here. But this is only the game number one of this tournament. So this could go on for a little while here. Um, and I believe it is until you're eliminated. That is obviously my fault. Um, but yeah, that, like you can see how this gets super intense here. So, you know, you want to be you want to be careful about what you're doing here. Come on, get that. Ooh, with the jetpack, Diddy Kong. Wow. There we go. Ooh, what a shot. What a shot. Okay, give me a second to focus here while I try to figure out what other things I, I had as a kid. Um, I don't even know. I want a lot of stuff from, like, Chuck E. Cheese. Like, a lot of plushes and stuff from there. That was a whole thing. Let's go with... I didn't mean to activate that, but okay, sure. There we go. Awesome. Um, cool. So that was just one. One of the games in the Star Cup here. I don't know what they go up to, but... All right. That's fine. So I'll see what, what, what comes up next. Let me see if I can figure it out. Oh, yeah. yeah we're not... Oh, yeah. 